Good evening, Randomizer fans, and welcome to the Link to the Past Randomizer 2021 Challenge Cup. Tonight, we have the Group W Final with uh, Jawsome Sauce versus Dapper Worm Man. I'm DarkShots59, and tonight I am joined by Scu uh, Scoopula. How you doing? Not too bad. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. As I said, we've got... Game one of the final here, so this is best of three. Whichever one of these runners takes this set will advance on to the next stage of the tournament. The loser of the set still plays in a tiebreaker, so they will not be eliminated. But as I said, this is just game one. They're going to have potentially two more games after this. And that is a unique uh, MSU pack. I have not heard this one before. Yeah, I was trying to figure that out. That was that was interesting. So we got that. But we should be starting any moment now. We got uh, on the right. I know Dapper Wordman's got a guard sprite. I'm not as familiar with the uh, Jawsome sprite. That's an early pearl. Very early pearl. Usually expect that. Not in the house. Uncle's uh, saving up some jewelry for his aunt. I guess. Uh, that's a pretty fair assessment. And what is our weapon of choice tonight? Samaria. That can be decent. That's a nice full magic refill off the start. Usually you prefer to see some some form of early progression like a hammer or a bow, but Kane's still nice to use. Yeah, I like having it myself and it does take care of late progression questions at least a little bit. <laughs> Better than bombs. Better than bombs. Probably easier to use than its counterpart, the uh, the blue cane. Is it just really harsh on the magic usage? The blue cane, that is. Okay, we're just getting the stream synced up real quick, and it looks like Dapper has a slight lead, but we're only a couple rooms in, so a slight lead off start doesn't mean a whole lot. So we've got 50 bucks in our first chest, so Bottle Merchant might not, uh, might not be too much of an issue if they decide for an early Kakariko play right after Escape. Hmm. 
and Jawson's having a bit of an issue there getting that blue guard with the cane. Uh, you drop that block, it puts it a little bit in front of you. If that guard's too close, it uh, might not get hit. You got one of the higher ranking guards just able to deke around it. The rest of them just left to run right in. Samara, not one of the favored weapons to use on that fallen chain guard, and Jawsome's going to make up a bit of time just going with the, uh, just going with that double pot strat. Now, the other issue with a Red King start is you do have that limited magic bar. Dapper's got quite a bit more magic than Jossum at the moment. They have not taken the time to farm bobs for the back of the state. Uh, Jossum trying to get a bomb off a guard there, but no luck. So, it may come down to the rats and snakes in the back to see if they get any bombs. Otherwise, they may need to make a return trip. Yeah, this is about the point I tend to give up on the guards and hope for the pests because they, in my experience, have been a little more generous. And as far as magic goes, we do have the few uh, pots in the sewers that uh, give us enough that we don't have to worry too much about the Red King. Or you can get a little bit of that Jossum luck there and get an 8-pack of bombs off one of the green guards. Persistence. But I'm sure Dapper's at this point committed to the uh, snakes and rats, so we'll see how loaded down they are today. And they're not doing too bad either. Eight bombs all around the night. We've already found our map, so whatever's in the back of the escape is going to be loaded, hopefully. Four items left at this point, we can say. <laughs> and Dapper getting that key relatively quickly there. That is the point where you hate doing bomb escape, is getting that one rat with a bomb. And Jossum getting a quick heal at the end there, both of them finding out that the back of the escape, more of a restock cave. Dapper coming out with a six minute escape. Jawsome coming out about 15 to 20 seconds behind, so fairly close coming through the escape. Picking up the last weapon we will ever need today for at least the next hour. Love to see that hammer. Looks like we got three crystals in the light world we do, and they're all regular, so no, no progression toward uh, Pyramid Fairy, but. Hopefully that's not something we need to worry about anyway. And also no pendants in the light world. With a moon pearl and a hammer, we are also one item away from the dark world, as is, so I'd say we might get some early dips of these dungeons if they don't immediately see something like a bow in Kakariko or a book or something like that. 
Yeah, and Dapper's found out um, two of his tree pools. One of them is a bunch of 20 rupees, and the other one is a bunch of blue rupees. So trees are loaded with money today. And also, neither of them decided to check the Lumberjack ledge. That's, that's something that's been a bit more common this tournament, I feel. You tend to see a lot of personal preference, uh, I guess, more when there's no boots in play, but I don't know. It, it can... I always like to myself check the uh, visible items as soon as possible, but this route here can save you about a minute, minute and a half. Yeah, and at this point, they have no pieces for Aga access, no lamp, no sword, no cape. Plus, they just found a glove in Blind's hideout, so they have that Dark World access now. At the ripe old age of eight minutes. So potentially this this may be check all of your Kakariko checks, and then instead of saving and quitting at the race game, you're going to walk right up and do the Village Outcast checks. Fair point, and I have <laughs> certainly never done that. But this is this is fast, but we do have a lamp, so could be some options. And a fire rod. There you go, straight to Skull Woods with uh, your three hearts and a mafia to deal with. That is incorrect. <laughs> The one thing about that, and oh, speedrunners yeah. get caught on that, you don't have a sword to break the curtain yet. That's right, yeah. <laughs> so fast, you don't even have to think about it. At least if you're me and not playing the game. As I said, I've, I've seen a few runners get all the way to that curtain and then realize, wait, I don't have a sword. I can't do anything now. They even have a bottle to check sick kid. The rate this is going, I wouldn't be surprised to see powder in the back of the tavern just to do the full light world sweep. Ten arrows on the library, so nothing there. So, with this loadout, there are several possible directions that they can go. So, Dapper's going to save and quit. So, the question is, is he going to go with the south shore or up? Going up the mountain for a couple checks is also a possibility. Two south shores for today. A little too early for the dark world. Uh, Dapper's hitting the portal, actually. Oh, true. Hmm, okay. Didn't even think about it. It's a sub-15 minute hype cave. Plus, he may also be thinking uh, arrow game farm, so that way you have the rupees to do uh, Zora, and we've got Red Crystals on Pod and Turtle Rock. I didn't see the others. It was a little snappy. I, usually, I like to try to take screenshots so I have something to go off of, but I missed it. Uh, so it looks like Skull Woods and Misery Mire were pendants with... Swamp Palace being the green pendant. Unfortunately, it looks like Hype Cave was not all that hype this time. It never seems to be, and I don't know if that's just a product of logic or what, but... You don't want to get burned when it is, but... 
That's a Bombos. That's a Bombos we can't use yet, but that's a Bombos. Hype level 2 out of 10. Light World Hype. I thought Light World Hype Cave was Paradox Cave. It does tend to have better stuff. So Jawsome checked the dam, went to Mini Moldorm Cave, and now he's going up. He might be going up to Hype Cave now. It's definitely an interesting route, and not one that you that you usually have available. And Dapper's going to take advantage of that bee. Apparently, many Moldorms are allergic to bees. Dapper, looks like he's taking a moment to decide where to go here. He's going to Sanctuary. Yeah, I would guess Mountain. Had to think it over. Yeah, either Mountain or this could be Village Outcasts. Yeah, probably, yeah, actually, you're right. Probably the Village. No hookshot, no mirror. Now we have seen the mirror gamble on the uh, on the mountain pay off. I think it was earlier today, actually. Jawsome's going to go ahead and check Stumpy and the dig game. It'll be interesting to see if he goes ahead and farms up Zora money while he's at it. Dapper is going to go ahead and go into Skull Woods. See, this is my kind of play style. I don't like to leave this stuff too long if you can get into it. Uh, fire Rod or not, actually, just because it's right there when you get out of your portal, so. And Jawson, that was a lot of digs for just a red for just a big 20, but that does put him over the 500 mark. Now, for Skull Woods, I see some people count Skull Woods as part of Overworld, and some people see it as a pendant and just avoid it like the plague. So it really does depend on which camp you're in, but I do like the play of just going in and checking it since you are right there. So. Pendant does cut its value down a little, but uh, the cane makes the mid-check nice, the mirror makes them all nice if you happen to have it. So you've got one of the two at least working for us here. We find nothing in Sahasrila Shack. Dapper's got the big key. I believe he's got two small keys. That would be the first item. That There's our powder. So he may chase that uh, to the bat once he gets out of here. We'll see. And, oh, and there's the mushroom. The ingredient and the product. <laughs> Go ahead and warp back to the entrance this way. Yep, we're gonna save him a key. Meantime, we're gonna get a look at Eastern, at least the front. Yeah, we can check everything but the boss. And there's a quake. We've got two medallions and no swords to use them. I 
we have more money in Village Outcast. There, this seat is not short on money, that's for sure. Certainly not, and Dapper's gonna go ahead and make use of that as is generally recommended when you're in the area and have the ability. On the one hand, I'm thinking, oh wow, we're we're in the dark world and we're still on three hearts, but at least we have blue mail. And then you look at the timer and realize, oh wait, we're not even 20 minutes in. Yeah. And we got flippers in the chess game. So Dapper's going to go ahead and go into Thieves Town. Thieves Town is a crystal. It is fully clearable at this point. But Four Heart Thieves Town is not something that you generally like doing, but it is fully accessible. Yeah, we'll see what the front four brings us. Um... That, that's funny when, when you think about it, though, with the heart situation. The fastest Dark World, but I think probably the longest time that I've seen to an extra heart container. Yeah, and even on Blue Mail, when you look at the blind fight, contact damage with blind on Blue Mail is a single heart. The fireballs are a heart on any type of armor. And you're fighting blind with a hammer and a red cane. That's not a fun fight. I mean, I prefer red cane over hammer for that fight, but it's still, it's still rough. So part of the play in that case may be that, you know, maybe you find the four items before you get to blind and you take a shot at it. And if it doesn't work come back and just rush it, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, as long as you spawn blind then uh, on any return trip, you can just go straight to the boss room. So yeah. that is a good thing. It does make phase one a little harder, but And we have ten arrows on the lumberjack, so Aga is dead. I want to go back and mention that Jossum did leave Eastern. I don't know though if he got all three items and just or, or not and just well, no, he, he probably did because he does have the lamp, so that would have been in logic had he not so ignore me. <laughs> well the question is is there an item on the Armos Knights since they can't get to the boss without the bow? Yeah, it's kind of what I meant. When I, when I say all three, I meant like all that we can get. And yeah. Not the best at the brain today. So Jocelyn's going to go ahead and make that mountain trip. Uh, the only other... So we got a heart container off the old man. We'll see what's on top of Spectral Rock. And Half magic seems pretty nice. Basically my favorite item. It allows you to speed up, allows you to not have to stop for magic or hunt extra pots, at least the way I play. And Dapper found out the stun prize is just a single rupee, but that sword is a welcome sight. Blind boss fight level up. <laughs> Uh, 
has to make you feel a lot better. Oh yeah, sword is so much better on blind. The old sword will make the cut. Which we know. Well, good thing we found a sword just in time. Solid fight, pretty quick takedown. For the shield, that would have helped about 10 seconds ago. <laughs> yep. Well, can't give him everything. Yeah, but we do have one crystal down at least, so at 23 minutes, that's not too bad. So that sword means Dapper could kill Mothilo, however, I believe. Dapper's already found both items in Skullwood, so all it would net would be a pendant. Uh, so we have the mushroom check, the powder check. Um, flipper checks are now in logic, and I believe there's still Ice Rock Cave and Agena's Cave left. Yeah, neither of those were touched. We might see that in short order with the flipper find, though, however. Well, the dapper's gonna need to find one, some of that money. Well, luckily, there's an archery game right next door. Yeah, I see that get play from time to time in here, but not too often. It's, it's a thought. Well, usually you don't have access to it less than 25 minutes in. <laughs> Very true. There it is. So if you fire that arrow just as it crosses that second curtain there, then you'll hit the nose for about three rounds. Then after the after about the third round, it slightly desyncs and you uh, and you may hit the hands. And if you're really crazy, you can try to hit the same one five times. On the fifth hit, you get ninety nine rupees instead of sixty four, but is that really necessary? I mean, I'm learning something today. Did we just see a bow? A bumper cave? Oh, uh, we may have. Roll the tape. Here it comes. Yep, we did. So the question is, is that our first bow or our second? Yeah, I was going to say that with no cape. Could be the second, but... So Dapper's going to go into the water from the north here, so he's going to see that island real quick, and it's a piece of heart. Now, the flippers also open up Catfish, the Pyramid Ledge, as well as checks in... Well, okay, the hammer opened up all of that, so never mind. But we do see Hobo with an Ether Medallion, so we know where all three medallions are. few times you'll see a hobo with coins already giving them to you. So does that make him the rich man under the bridge? It used to. And 
ice rock cave we're going to get more money how much money is are these runners going to get and i don't think we've even seen a three hundo yet Yeah. I don't know, yeah, you're right, I don't think so. I had to think. You like money? Money, 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 money. But when seed giveth, fish taketh away. Oh, Dapper's still going to be able to pay for a pod trip when it's time for it. Even though that was just a heart piece on the ledge, I wouldn't be surprised if Dapper goes ahead and... Oh, there's a sword. Hmm. Sora might have undervalued his loot. Not too bad. So I was going to say I wouldn't have been surprised if Dapper decided to go ahead and grab that heart piece and then go ahead and turn in the mushrooms since they were already... Uh, since they were somewhat nearby, but it looks like instead he's going to go ahead and uh, and take this portal over to that dock and go ahead and turn in the mushroom that way. Yeah, I've thought about this from time to time. It, I don't know. I mean, it might be a little quicker. You'll take what you can get. Besides heart pieces, you know, who needs them. Half an hour in, they're still both on five hearts, but they've got blue mail, and uh, Jawsome will be getting his first sword shortly, and that's a hook shot. We like those. I see a mountain trip in the near future. Mm -hmm. I get a shovel now, okay. This opens up uh, everything to Hera the long way, but still, and you're going to get all that stuff anyway, so makes perfect sense to me. Yep, run by, get your Paradox Cave, check the floating island, do your Hera, Dex. check your Lumberjack Ledge while you're up here. <laughs> yeah, going to go ahead and get the bad news and move on. Mediocre news, I suppose. It's not bad until it's good, I guess. Good item. Yeah, more runners have been uh, putting off that lumberjack check until they make their way up the mountain. Joss, I'm going to go ahead and take care of Blind in real short order, having just found that sword, so. Blind tried to give him the business there. So I'd say it's still pretty even with them having made different checks, Joss and having gone to Eastern, so we'll see a convergence, I'm thinking maybe at some point soon. Yeah. Dapper's not checking Spectral Rock yet. This may be a he may check that after Hera. Yeah, save you the trip up the long stairs with no boots. It's, that's respectable. I can get behind that. Now Jawsome's going to go ahead and get the water checks out of the, out of the way. 
not quite enough money for Zora, but you will get bailed out by the Waterfall Fairy. And there's our first three hundo for Dapper uh, Wormman. We'll cover potions for the rest of the game, so... Yep, they only need like 110 to get into pod, so yeah, that's a lot of spare potion money. Especially after another 300. And I was calling the rest of the seed rich. The mountain's loaded. Sega tries to charm. Dapper gets across that gap, and we'll see what's on the floating island. Possibly. Unless you're me and forget all the time. Here we go. Nothing, nothing to do. So Dapper's going across, um, skipping the spiral K for the moment. Usually when you skip that and go to Hera, the idea is you come back around and get that. But if Dapper does that, then he's going to skip the Spectral Rock check. Yeah, when I saw this uh, Spiral Cave, that made me think about what I said before. Because now he's going to have a choice to make. So. It's a little different when you're not playing. You, you get a chance to view a bit more, but then it's also... Oh, wait. You don't have everything in front of you. So, Dapper's got the big key and he's got a heart container. He's going to go ahead and do the uh, bomb setup for the Heropot. It's surprising how many of these bomb setups there actually are. Jawson did uh, farm up 20 rupees just outside Ice Rod Cave, but he's going to find out it wasn't as necessary. It's still a good idea, though. And we've got a book from Dapper. That certainly does heavily point at desert, plus the tablet on the way out. But... Yeah, with Fire Rod and Lamp. Uh, yeah, they've got the fire sources to clear desert. Yeah, it's just uh, the question about the boots, but it's not a bad idea. Or, well, I think it's not anyway, whenever you're only missing the one thing that you may not need, so. And three quick hammer hits, and Moldorm is down, and that's going to be a second crystal for Dapper. Is that one item, or? Uh, he got the he got the heart container in the lobby. Oh, the heart, okay. This so. no good news, no big chest, no basement, no nothing. That's a nice hair. Yep. And Jawsome is going to go ahead and turn in that mushroom as well, so Jawsome's about to get the hook shot. Safe to say we're out of the woods on the uh, health department at this point as well, so. Yeah, health just kind of uh, shot up there. Tapper went from four hearts to ten in the matter of about ten minutes. So we're going to see maybe a force through Spike Cave? Dapper did buy a red potion early. This, without any invincibility items, this is out of logic. Yeah, this may have been in his mind, though, when he made the uh, choice to isolate uh, Sparrow Cave. This is two things you can get on the way out of here instead of one. Um, 
And about half the time it ends up in logic, so it's not a bad check. And I remember we had a qualifier that uh, hurt a lot of people, but in this case, nothing major. At least you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, the, the one big thing about that check is it's currently not in logic as far as we know it, depending on invulnerability items. But it was two checks versus one, so it definitely made sense. So here comes that desert play, the uh, as well as Agena. Almost forgot about Agena. So the big question mark on this desert play is, do we need the boots? That would have been nice about half an hour ago. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough call to make a check like this without a flute or something, but... Yeah, and that opens up a whole nother can of worms because that opens up a full clear Swamp Palace. A full clear Green Pendant Swamp Palace. That's that's never that's never a happy time. <laughs> Jawsome getting that ninth heart container and going to go ahead and set up for that heropod as well. And with a map in that first, we are boots locked out of desert. Just going to go ahead and verify that, but yeah. Unfortunate. Hmm, did he I not believe... check the ledge? Or... I believe he did. Dapper may be uh, stealing a key out of the back just to get the other two chests. Yep, you're right. Cool. Yeah, he needs the boots anyway, so he does not want to leave empty handed. So this just means when Dapper comes back to beat Land Molas, he's going to have to come in here, get that big key off the torch, and then get the small key out of the big chest. Oh, and Moldorm knocking Jawsome down a level. At least he didn't knock him down that center. get a piece of somebody today. So Dapper's guaranteed one item out of here, and it's just ten arrows. The desert doesn't feel good. The mirror... He doesn't know he's the first to find it, but he's the first to find it. But with it being there, you kind of have it in the back of your mind. Did my opponent go to Agena early and have they had this mirror for about half an hour? Looks like we're gonna see a pod play now. It looks like Jossum may have gotten a poke or a swing on that Master Sword, because Moldorm went into speed mode for just a moment, but he got it taken care of. Hmm. 
And then as you said, Dapper's making the pod play. He does not have the bow, but he may be willing to potion glitch his way through uh, through the bow lock portion. Yeah, I was trying to see if he'd cycle the bottles here. I didn't remember what he had. So. This is also nice routing in the uh, Sahasrila closet and finding his more stacks of cash. <laughs> Paying him in the merchandise on the way out. Jocelyn is going to go ahead and check Spiral Cave, um, which he had already checked Spectral Rock, so this does make sense. This is the this is the check that's in logic for him versus the one that's not in logic. Neither one of them paying out though. So I think I saw an empty bottle in a B. So this might just be a check of this chest here, which is going to send him into the back, but that's okay. It might turn up with something. Yeah, now that you mention it, he I did see the, uh, the B in a bottle when he was in Spike Cave, and he used the red potion to get through Spike Cave. Uh, yeah, that's true. Speaking like of these and bottles. <laughs> Jossum's about to get his mirror. Not too far apart. And I believe that was a big key from Dapper, but that does put him out of pod. He is out of keys. Yeah, it's a fair set of checks without a bow. It just means you can't finish either one of them. And as we know, this isn't going to result in a whole lot either. So, hmm. back to even shortly. Yeah, Jossum's about to get the bad news out of desert. Yeah, the third medallion isn't bad, I guess. So you don't have to worry about door keys. I forgot about that. So, that mirror does give them half magic off of Spectral Rock whenever they want it, but it still may be a time before they have a good time to go up there. Yeah. If um, they even decide they want it. Yeah, it's, that's, that's tough now, because I like it, <laughs> obviously, but... Um, there's not much else up there. Titan's Mitts may send you that way. But... Jossum is going to bail out of desert without stealing the key. Between both runners, I think we have Pyramid Ledge, Catfish, Graveyard Ledge, K45, and Swamp Palace. Um, looking at it, yeah, Magic Bat's there. Did you say that? Oh, and Magic Bat. And, uh... Yeah, that's about it. And Jossum's going to make the density play. They're going for Swamp Palace. And some of their routing decisions may be influenced by their earlier checks. Like for Dapper, the play for Pod, they also had Sasrala, uh, so that made it just that much better. Whereas Jossum's already checked Sasrala, so Pod 
it has five items, but are you going to have access to all five items? Or was it six? I think um, it's five. Pot is five and Swamp is six. Pod feels like it has six keys. It actually has four. <laughs> has a, is there two in pots? Or something. It's got a lot. A lot of keys. Nice place to key sanity. Don't get me started on pod and key sanity. Yeah. <laughs> Jawsome's found a set of bombs in that first chest, so we're one item down. Yeah, we're going to see a bombless tablet here, which is not a bad idea. So it might be swamp right after that. Yeah, Jawsome may be going the other way and doing bombless tablet right after swamp. That's heart container number. That's heart number eleven for Dapper. So on blue mail, that heart count, you're pretty much set. Jaws is going to go ahead and set up for the diver down, and he's got the bomb there. So we're going to see a neat little trick out of him. So if you go through as the bomb explodes, now what he's going to do is he's going to uh, do the diver down over here. And when he makes that screen transition, the explosion from the bomb is going to go ahead and flip that switch. That's how you make left side swamp a slight bit less of a pain. It is nice to do. I could never get it figured out, to be honest. But yeah, the diver down. It's a. Uh... It, it takes a bit to get used to the inputs, but once you get the inputs down, it becomes a bit easier. No, no, I'm a weird one. I. Do icebreaker faster than most, but diver down, I, I don't know. It's something I gotta get back to, I guess. So, not a bad find for having came all the way over here. Let's see what the other one is. Yeah, we definitely take the tempered sword. You, you can leave. Actually, Dorito plate doesn't sound bad right now. <laughs> that's, that's a new one, I'm sorry. I haven't heard that. <laughs> But yeah, that the tempered sword makes it makes it worth it to come over here just for that. Dapper is gonna go ahead and skip it, so big long high five incoming. At least for the time being he'll skip it. Yeah, I don't think we've seen the map, so Dapper may be... Oh, hello! Honestly, on that, I wouldn't be surprised if Dapper leaves. That's a thought. I think maybe the green... The greenness of it all might be swaying a little bit. So that's the map, so now Dapper knows that there is at least one item on the left side. I 
either an item or the big key, which we know the big key is not there, but it is that temporary sword. Speaking of which, I guess so that has to be either here or in the box, so... Yeah, you hope for in the box, just that way you don't have to come back in here. You know, I really think they meant to put a big door right before this boss, and they just never did. Just, just... Oops. I think they just figured, oh, no, no one can get in here without the thing in the big chest anyways. That's a fair point. Just some money and a pendant. We'll see if Sahashrila uh, gets routed in at any point. But, I don't know, some runners like to go immediately there just for having spent the time in here. So, we'll see. Uh, with the Titan Mets, I would not be surprised to see a, uh, see a Death Mountain play, actually. You've got Super Bunny Cave, you've got Hookshot Cave. Yeah, that's true. Quick, nice quick six and a half magic if you want to take the long route. What do we I, got here? And that was just the heart container. I guess really you would really want to try to put it off until you've got an ice rod. But Jossum's going to go ahead and make it make the trip up the mountain here. You know, the number of times you see the ice rod either in or right outside of Turtle Rock too, it, it, I don't know, I don't I don't mind a play, you know. Honestly I just I just thought of something better and I'm surprised I didn't think of this first. Oh, yeah. Titan's Mitts makes Ice Palace full clearable now. That's that's true, yeah they have fire. So They've got all the fire. So we want potions, which kind of suggests Ice Palace, does it not? That, or if Dapper wants to go back into, uh, go back into Pod and get those two chests on the right side. Because if he does that, then he can do everything except Helmosaur. And it also routes in the green pendant. Yeah, um, I was figuring ice only because that would spell triple dip for pod, but... Yeah. Go ahead and see what Hookshot's got for us. Uh oh. Oh. oh I, I do that so much. Oh my god. <laughs> and I usually pull up all the pots too, so I can walk out walking. Not a lot today. <laughs> It's either this or Hype Cave has something. Neither one today. That's something. So, this is telling me Jawsome is probably going to go ahead and get that half magic and then maybe check Spike Cave. That's fair assessment. Everything in Turtle Rock is accessible except for Trinex, but. That that's still that is still a tough a tough trek to make. Oh, Jawsome got the half magic. Where's Jawsome going? This may be the Turtle Rock play. Dapper finding his own tempered, so very unlikely we'll see butter for him. Very likely that we'll see butter for Jocelyn. Minor differences. Yeah, I'm not sure that Jocelyn's going to 
I'm not sure that's going to make too much of a difference, because it really depends on how soon Jawson makes a trip to Ice Palace, and it may make a one or two hit difference on some bosses. Yeah, difference between three and four isn't good, but when you run right into it, you know, you'll, you'll take it. Oh yeah, you definitely take it. And yeah, this is Turtle Rock, so... If you're fans of Jawsome, you might want to be hoping for an Ice Rod. Unless this is a front three play or a front four play, that would be interesting. There are a lot of times that first chest, the, uh, it's the compass, is it, that has something in it, but... And that's the nice thing about these races is sometimes you'll see a strategy that's a bit unusual and it may pay off. Dapper was a bit low on magic and did not want to use one of those potions. So he was going to go for the trick where you hit a fire rod shot and then uh, hit with a sword beam. So that way the sword beam also counts as a fire rod shot. And he can break Colt's stare out from four instead of eight. Uh, I'm guessing he realized he missed something and just switched to Bombos. So, we didn't see much outside the sword, but Crystal's down at least. So now... Yeah, Crystal's a crystal. What do we got now? Uh, we got a big key in Turtle Rock. Yeah, it's gonna uh -huh. send them down in here. We got, uh, on my count, the Smith Chain. I think he's gonna head for Turtle Rock, too, like Johnson did. Yeah, we've got Smith Chain, we've got, uh, Hammer Pegs, we've got... Graveyard Ledge, K45, Magic Bat. Uh, so that's five different one-off checks. Um, and then, yeah, we've got Turtle Rock. Oh, and we've got Green Pendant still. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. At this rate, we probably won't see Green Pendant turn in until someone gets a bow. You'd be willing to put at least 20 rupees on, uh, on that being in here for some reason. The play with the highest density right now is Turtle Rock with, uh... Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and get the Mimic Cave check as well, because we've got the mirror. We do need, uh... We've got to be boots at some point, the bow and an ice rod, so... It does give a good chance of Smith Chain having one of those. Don't forget the flute. Um... Do we need that? All oh, right, Myers a pendant. So yeah, I guess we don't necessarily need the flute. It's nice, but Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not sure these runners want to see the flute. Because flute puts Meyer in logic, and that would then put Ped in logic. <laughs> and Jawsome's getting sent all the way to Laser Bridge. 
where things tend to be, unfortunately. So we know there is at least a small key on Laser Bridge. And I don't remember if we uh, if we saw a map or compass, so this would mean... Saw a map, I don't recall in the compass. So this may only be a two-item uh, two laser bridge if the compass is on the bridge. There's going to be something. That's 100%. <laughs> or that, you know. <laughs> Is, is this game going to be... Um, actually, I just realized something. This is all out of logic. Oh, is it where I'm trying to think now? We have no invulnerability item, and we do not have mirror shields, so Laser Bridge is not in logic. Um, so I guess I never figured that out. Well, there's there's that. <laughs> so let's hope that shovel has something for all that because dang. Oh, we can hope, but as as I said, with it not being in logic as of yet, the odds of that are. I am confused now. Jelson was on their way to turn in that shovel, and then they mirrored. Where did they go? I mean, sorry, and then they went to Sank. Where are they going? Well, you know, I guess Smith's chain. It might have just been a what do I do moment kind of thing. Graveyard ledge into Smith chain to check K45, and then. Um, and then while you're walking by the grove, go ahead and check the shovel. yet, which is fair without boost to do the tune at the same time, but this is starting to get laborious. It may be skipping Graveyard Ledge to uh, check that if needed once they have the cape. Because we're pretty sure we need the cape, because we're pretty sure that's our first bow. Which means the game's going to prove us wrong in about 20 seconds. Alright, yeah, yeah, I forgot about the bow game. It's tough. I just remembered I said all that stuff about the bow in Turtle Rock. And... <laughs> well, hey, the first bow could have been in Turtle Rock. Oh, yeah, that's right. See, I've got too much SMZ3 where they're separate. I gotta get that figured out when I'm in here. Yeah, that's definitely an interesting, uh, a, an interesting change when they made bows progressive. Oh, hey, we're also getting the bat check. Matter of time at this point. Matter of more time. <laughs> well, the game's pouring on the hearts now. We yes. are. Yeah, we are up to 14 and 13 hearts. Oh, I see a DFS. We 
We like the SMZ3, we do. But yeah, well, <laughs> just a personal background thing. Oh, okay. We ride a shovel into the, the smith chain. That's what happened. Yep, and we... Boy, vanilla. Vanilla. So, remember how I said that was a thing that our runners did not want to see? Yep. I had to work for it, too. And that could still lead to the cape. Because Berna could be the first in invulnerability item. Well, in logic anyway. You know, you, there's definitely lots of possibilities. Most seeds relent at some point before the end. and That's what you hope for, unless you like late nights, but... Uh, Jossum's gonna go ahead and turn that thing on. Chest is gonna enjoy the serenade. I wonder if Jossum's going to go ahead and check the graveyard lit. No, they'll probably go ahead and turn in the chest first and then go from there. Yeah, that's a that's a seven flute and then I don't know. Right. Seven flute to six flute? Could be. If you're chasing items, which a lot of times does pay off, even if you don't want to do it. Following logic, I, I would push that graveyard ledge at this point. I am, I would be fairly certain that graveyard ledge has something. Go ahead and get that Meyer shed. Bunch of junk. It's too bad with three to five checks you'd have in here, but I don't know. Does he go ahead in the Meyer? Or... Why don't you checkerboard cape first? Oh, that like this may be. This may end up going ped. I guess you take the blue goo. Yeah, we have had the book for a while. Um, and no one checked it. Yeah, you hope to get it in a route somewhere, but with a pendant skull woods, it's kind of tough. I mean, now would have been the time for Dapper, but... do need multiple items so at this point I'm feeling like graveyard ledge would be the cape which would lead to the bow and that would get the eastern clear as well as the pod clear and there's still a lot in pod or there may be nothing on graveyard ledge and it may be either here in Meyer or it could be on the pet. We have catfish too. I know that they, I think, really want to put that off until we're getting a double map check just to be sure, but um, until they see like either boots or something, but it may not. It may be inevitable before too long. Right, we haven't seen catfish or pyramid ledge. Which I find really odd since Dapper, I believe it was Dapper, did go into pod. So 
So we are going to get a Meyer look, and at this point our runners are separated really only by the Ice Palace clear on Dapper's side. So... This could go any which way. I'm hoping Dapper opens their menu soon, because uh, I'm not seeing Shovel. Did they did they miss the Shovel? Oh, I took my eye off of that. Uh, let's see how far down in the TR he went. I know he hit Laser Bridge because he has that shield. It's not on the tracker, so something's telling me it will be the case. Yeah, the shield. We'll see shortly uh, if they make their way up there. And they are going up here, so it. We do have a lot going on on both screens, so yep. things do get missed occasionally. Yeah, I am almost exclusively a tracker, and it's it can be some. <laughs> so there is a shovel. We do have a flute. See, does he walk right back up to? Well, he's got the flute out, but it's not going to do a whole lot in this world. There, he's going to the mirror. This is going to be a, another flute activation. Well, go ahead and go into the light world a bit early, so that way he doesn't have to uh, lift the rock. We've got another key for Jawsome. Have any items been found in Mire yet? I didn't see him. Which isn't saying much. Because now I know why it's hard for comms to follow on the screen. <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. <laughs> be a check. The fact that Jawsome is going to check the big chest means, yeah, yeah, that was only one item. And that would be the other one. A little, little dance of, oh wait, yeah, pendant. And off we go. Now this is gonna, you see where Dapper's going, this is gonna feel bad in Jawsome's case potentially in the next 10 or 15 seconds. You don't get to see much of uh, Ped Seeds, but... Uh, nope. Okay. And we still don't see a Ped Seed. And Jawsome's on their way over to Pod... And a uh, green pendant turn in as well. Um. Huh. You know, what, what's the odds, especially at this point, that the bow's just in the back of pod? <laughs> a second bow could be in the back of pod, but... I find it odd that Jawsome did not turn it, did not mirror and turn in that green pendant. I mean, that's something I've forgotten about on a, more than one occasion, especially whenever uh, you're walking. I don't know why, but. So that'll just have to wait for a little bit. I believe Jawsome does have potions at this point, so we may see a bottle glitch. We might, and I think at this point the only thing you'd like to see that it could produce is an ice rod. Maybe boots. But it's definitely a play you need to make 
should you have the ability at this point. Apparently on Jawsome's tracker, there is a uh, slight error um, the, uh, from, from what I'm hearing, Jawsome has Ice Palace marked as a green pendant. So the question may be, does he notice that it's, uh, that's mismarked? saying on, on his own tracker? Yes. Well, that's definitely uh, something that happens. Unfortunately, we don't know yet if that's going to hurt. But... It'll keep him away from crystal ice a bit longer. So we do see the bottle glitch, so Jawsome is going to head back here. Uh, we did see the big key earlier. And we're going to see two more keys. You pretty frequently do, and that just buys you the rest of the back instead of just the turtle room. But, uh... It also means we could see a hammer yump into the back here. Opting not to. That turtle room chest. That is an out of logic ice rod. I'll trust you on that one. I'm not up on the key counts, but oh, they were locked out without uh, unless they went to the right side, which meant yeah, they had to have the bow to get the keys. really counting in uh, TR because try next. Yeah, but with it being out of that's a K. Yep. So, essentially your bow is in pod. <laughs> your second bow is in pod. So that's a cape for Jawsome, which means they know where to get a bow. I am curious... Oh, oh, I see. They're uh, quickest flute point. Yeah, from a save and quit, that's, that's your fastest point to get out of a building with full health. And Dapper's going to go ahead and turn in this green pendant. <laughs> two bombs from Sahashula. Just two. <laughs> I thought Jawson. Yeah, Jawson was in here earlier may not have counted as items. Either... 
was gonna say is that this is another miss mark. I, I don't have the other thing. Oh no, we're doing it. This isn't just a pet check. If it was just a pet check, you would have went in through the white world. You got a point. So this is going to be an Ice Palace play, it looks like. And we're getting Pyramid Ledge, and it's a Red Ruby. Fishy time. Yep, the second angry fish. Makes sense. Graveyard. Then fish. Yeah, it works out. Um, so Jawsome has not grabbed that bow yet, uh, which leads me to believe he may recognize that that bow is out of logic and is going to go ahead and clear dungeons since he has to look for the boots anyways and may just find his logical bow the way to uh, on the way through the dungeons yeah as far as he knows it could be in here that would be a that wouldn't be a bad thought It's a fine mess we found ourselves in. Yeah, but at least we have butter. <laughs> Everything's better. With butter. If I say any more than that, we'll probably get hit with uh, trademark claims. Yeah, we don't want that. Can't believe it's actually. So boots are required for go mode because the big key is on the torch in desert. So we, so Jawsome is still one item from go mode. Yeah, Dapper does not have the big key. So, uh, so I got Jossum, a map here. Sorry. Yeah, Jossum has the big key where Dapper does not. Yeah, I had a map here and I'm looking. There's nothing. There's really nothing else left. So. Also missed the first try. There he goes. Oh boy. Logical bow. He is a little quick to think about, but that's me. Do you think you detour and get your silvers with all the sword or not? That's um. don't think it saves you enough time. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> well, I do hope the Jossum is paying attention to what comes off the ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, 
is so what happened is dapper skipped the ice tea room which had the big key which has the bow in that big key chest or in that big chest See, I would have thought a quick wipe of uh, pod and, e and uh, eastern. Jotham he's he's made. got the silvers. Yeah. Uh, plus, he can go ahead and route this into graveyard ledge because he still needs those boots. Yeah, it's, it's true. Nobody has those, has those yet. <laughs> And if you're going to get silvers, you might as well get them before Pod and Eastern. Got uh, Trio Dapper some money. Never did anything to me, but. Factoring in. If you can get the Armos quick kill then with regular arrows, then I don't think silvers are much of a time save there. With butter, I don't think silvers are a time save on pod either. It may be a bit of a time save on the Ganon fight. I mean, it might come out to a time save, but probably not that big of one. Well, looks like just a comfortability thing, which I can totally get behind, um, as upon collecting the silvers, he just fluted over to five and is going to go ahead and follow, uh, dapper right into pod and EP and get that out of the way. I am surprised that he hasn't, uh, I think that was dapper that checked graveyard ledge, correct? Yeah, it was, and then catfish. Gonna go ahead and figure, and this would be a fair bet that Jossum just figures that the uh, items that you're looking for are gonna be in the dungeons that you have to do anyway. Based on what's left, I think the boots either have to be on Eastern uh, or Pod bosses if they uh, if they have an item. Or it could be on Trinex if he has an item. Otherwise, it could be on the Pyramid Fairy. That's yeah, true. This uh, Helmosaur is good for two items, so there's certainly not much. This is like a 200 plus sort of seed today. Yeah, it's definitely sent in them places. has to put boots at the end so that you can take in the scenery. I mean, isn't that usually the case? Tends to be. I like to, you know, hope no later than Mimic Cave, but that's already down enough and over with, so... So Dapper's sitting here at Helmosaur. Did uh, did he go in the back at all? I don't think so. Is that enough time to get in the door? Yeah, he may decide to walk back in. Um, wanted to get the crystal out of the way first. and More often than not, Helmosaur's got an item to go with him, so that's fair, but... 
Just some more money. How many three hundos are we at now? Is that three? It's at least three. There's four total. Dapper is going to go ahead and go into the back. You happen to recall if Jossum checked uh, the hillway? Uh, I believe Jossum did check the hillway. Or at least, you know, figured that there were just keys in here. Yeah, and Jossum is at zero keys. The only chest they did not check was the vanilla big key chest, which means uh, it only has a small key. Um. um yeah. Jotham? <laughs> uh. oh, on the one hand... They may have already found all three items on in Eastern Palace. So the progression would be on Trinex or Pyramid Fairy. On the other hand, Eastern Palace is a crystal and therefore needs to be done anyways. Yeah. Um... I'm gonna check something I'll be, I'll be... All right. So yeah, Armos may not have an item, so he may be thinking do them after you get the boots. So I'm pretty sure boots are either on Trinex or in Pyramid Fairy at this point. Alright, so um Yeah, we still have a tracker issue on Jossum's side, not on ours, uh with Ice Palace, but not with Eastern, so Well, he did turn in that green pendant, so uh, I believe he does realize that issue at this point. We're about to see really soon if Armos does have an item. Jawsum is headed up to Rock. I mean, it could be a it could be a bet that works out. Say the boots are on the turtle. I don't know. Note to self count I... better on comms. <laughs> <laughs> Hardest part about commentating, counting the items for each dungeon. Yeah, I thought I'd be clever and run a tracker in the middle of this and just click stuff. But... It never works out the way you think it will. Yeah. So Dapper's going for that quick kill. Oh, he shot one too many arrows. He's gonna save it. No big deal. We're good. Oh, we were. Uh, there's one too few on that one, but he, he gets it down. Just a few arrows. Arrows more than time. That is crystal number. Should count before I open the mouth. Five? Yep. Yep, minus TR and desert, so... And 
Dapper is headed back to Kakariko. I. Uh, he got the cape out of pot, I think, so I think he's going to go ahead and grab silvers now. That looks to be the play. It's just tempting when you're when you can see him, I guess. Well, that's, that's right, he had the bow before he had the cape. Murder birder. Loves that spot. Yeah, that that is an evil placement for a bird. Say I have not been there. <laughs> just gonna do it the easy way. And that many helmet is just causing problems, but Jawson's gonna get through and on his way to the big turtle. Yeah, that bridge can really throw some issues with that boots more than you'd expect. Uh, I know a guy who managed to soft lock on there in some way by getting, I think, hit by two things at the same time. That's not good. <laughs> like it, it, I think he fell in a hole and just kept respawning in the hole. And then he had fairies, so it was it was eternal punishment. Yeah, that doesn't sound fun. We're gonna uh, we were gonna see a back uh, back door we're trying to spike, but Spike said no. <laughs> So the nice thing with butter on Trinex is it's just three swipes per head and the head's down, so you fire one shot, uh, one shot of magic at each head. And then three quick swipes on the body, and we have Dead Turtle. Or is it Snake? Let's see how good this is. I don't want to hype it up anymore because I see that's what that's what happens. That would be a green rupee. That that would be a dud. Wow. Um, Pyramid Fairy is that's it. That's all I got. I'm right there with you. <laughs> so at 141, we're looking for go when your average seat is getting done around about now. But. Uh, Rando be Rando. Yep, Rando be Rando. <laughs> Our runners are uh, getting every item out of every dungeon. They just didn't have to touch uh, Castle Tower. Yeah, Lumaga Trinex definitely would have been a fair bet. And when you get this late into game one, you hope would happen for you. And that's something you need to do, but not to be. Give a shout out to Lumaga too for uh, putting the show on for us today, running the restream. We appreciate it. Give me a chance to keep myself busy too here. <laughs> you know, this late into the seat, these runners can't be feeling good just because they're pretty much last locationing their go mode. Yeah, and in the way that they're doing it, there's some solace to be had, and you knew those were there. <laughs> in the fact that you can be pretty sure that your opponent's doing the same exact thing. Oh, reasonably sure. With TR being a 
And that boulder just had to get a shot into Jawsome Sauce. Mm -hmm. Never like cabbage, and cabbage doesn't like me either, so. Oh, my good cabbage stew and bacon. So at any rate, that is a go mode for Jawsome Sauce, even though it's got to come back to Eastern, but should be out of here in, let's say, less than three minutes. Jawsome will probably be downing the Armos Knights about the time Dapper grabs the boots, so this is going to be really close. can't see me when wanting to do this little wavy thing where your hands go in and out because it's like the path they took they just you know, did the same stuff came you know did different stuff came back together a couple times so we'll see how much of a difference it really is not much I'm sure with it being this close that butter sword may actually make a difference Cut a cycle or two off of it, depending on execution, so. It could also come down to left side or right side and gain the tower. He walked around, Dapper walked around the first three bushes like, oh, you're not going back to left side, are you? At this point, I, Dapper's going to get those boots and then he's going to speed right over the desert. And Jawsome's making quick work of the Armos Knights with those silvers. Is he. Okay, no. He's maybe going to. He can't do that with no Aghanim anyway. I was thinking maybe he'd go up north. We did not need to kill the first wizard today. I believe both of them have the same information uh, on Desert Palace. They both have opened that uh, that map chest. Dapper's getting them boots. And go, go ahead and get free blue goo. Which one of them did, did the key steal? That would be Dapper. Okay, so you see, that's actually... As long as that took, that's the difference we're looking at right now, I think. Within a few seconds. Yeah, so Jawsome's able to go straight to the back. Dapper is going to have to open that big key chest to get the small key, but he's not going to have to grab that first key. he does remember to go ahead and get that. Jawsome's using that hookshot to navigate around to that sec to that last key. And there goes the wall. Nice uh, hook speed off the uh, desert. It's going to come in handy. Yeah, that hook speed is a little scary to do because if you, if you don't turn at the right moment, you are going to just jump off the edge. Yeah, I gave up on it myself a while ago for that very reason. But and nice execution here. Yep, a two cycle with the sword for Jawson and another heart container. We're going to go up GT with 16 hearts. So, I have a question. Do we play the game here? Informally or otherwise. 
I know a few channels have a bot for that. I'm not sure if Go Mode Podcast, if we have a, uh, if we have a bot for that. But if someone's got that, go ahead and set it up, because uh, this is going to be a close race up the tower. Yeah, either that or just take your guesses. Oh, there it is. You got it. Thank you, Lumaga. So as Jossum is going to be the first one into the tower, the guesses will be from Jossum's point of view. You have a guess to put in? Um, I kind of want it to just to be uh, 10. 10? Okay. 10 was our first guess by Tyler Salt, so we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go 19. I don't think I've ever done that. In root seed. The chat pointing out the timing for 43 seconds of difference here between uh, Jossum Sauce and Dapper Worm Man. So we'll see if there's any routing, routing divergence and what kind of difference that makes. Yeah, even without routing divergence, that 43 seconds is within execution window, so this could come down to that. Or the Butter Sword could also make a bit of a difference, but we will see. First chest, we've got oh, you Will. Be kidding me. And there's the small key, so yeah. Okay. Root seed. With a nice parting gift. So. Congratulations, Krellbell, who gets one. You win a lifetime supply of randomizer seeds. Go to alttpr.com to claim your reward. <laughs> and unfortunately, Dapper has gone left. That's not good news. Can't fault the man, but... Now this may be a, um, this may be the first, first four plus torch and then go over to the right. So this could be the Stalfos and then mirror back. And yeah. he does mirror. Given that he didn't attempt to kill any of them, but still that uh, 20 seconds does not help right now. Not that he knows that. But... Good TV for us, huh? Now he does mirror with two keys, where Jawsome Sauce only has the one, so Jawsome will need to kill a mini Helma for that second key, where Dapper will not. But I don't think that's 20 seconds worth. That's going to be a slight time save later up, but not going to be worth the time that's lost, I think. Is able to take advantage of that mirror shield when killing those red mimics, though. And almost a one cycle for Jossum. One shot short. Dapper's making their way up the gauntlet, and Jawson is almost done with the gauntlet. Just got the fire torch rooms up here. Magic's about halfway, so he's trying to conserve a little bit to make sure he's got enough for this second torch room. It's 
Honestly, this is where half magic really ends up being nice because you can skip so many of these uh, pot trips to the opposite sides of the rooms. Slight misfire on the wizard robes, but takes care of them. More than a few seconds, not bad. Yeah, that second set of wizard robes can cause a little bit of an issue sometimes with getting uh, three with that shot. Yeah, it's conveyors throw you off a little. Jossum reaching the top, heading into Aga 2. Door closing at 154.16. Have to play Geometry Wars. And we got a one. We got a two. <laughs> Through a blue ball. That's pretty good. Oh, that's. Oh. Cool. They are not being friendly. Very unsynced today. Not, not nice. And Dapper able to uh, able to just creep back up onto the ledge, almost getting knocked off, but will not be denied. And that makes their down. way up. And Agatou just about ready to start for Dapper. Um, you know, you never know what'll happen again. <laughs> so. So the lead has extended slightly. Door closes at 155.21. So it's about a 70 second lead now. And Dapper is unable to get a shot on that first one. May have been a double. Sure. Sometimes you hit them at the same time or close to it, they don't count. And Jossum, I'm pretty sure that's more than the six hits you need, Jossum. He really wanted to make sure that phase transitioned. <laughs> yeah. Just have a had enough of the pick today, and that's an Aka 2 down for Dapper. So we are. Yeah, about the same way we were with Jocelyn. Uh, shortly to finish up phase three. <laughs> you know, with a uh, butter and silvers, not too much can go wrong at this point. But uh, don't say that. That that yeah. is how you. <laughs> So Jossum did not go for the torch glitch. He's going to get a double here. Dapper starting phase one. Jossum needing two more silvers to finish his pick. And oh, shit. oh, there's. Oh, that just changes the whole thing. Not much can go wrong, he says. Yeah. <laughs> misinterpreted something but so now yeah he's got to climb back up uh very very quickly he's doing so but that's okay because dapper's already into phase three and jocelyn is going to have a different teleport pattern now and that, that might be favorable it might not but why oh, y'all had to do this to me from the first one of these? <laughs> oh, and I believe Dapper's one away, and we have a dead pig. <laughs> Not just... over Tony Crawford. Yeah, well, uh, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> 
gonna wait a few seconds. Yeah. And there he goes. Dapper War Man crosses the line, crosses the bridge, finishes in first place with an official race time dot gg time of 158.23 and the pig is now exploding for jawsome sauce it is most certainly not every day and it hasn't been in the last six months for me that's for sure um Jawsome Sauce will cross the line with a 158.59. So that would be 36 seconds difference. Unfortunately, due to a Ganon Ball. Hello. We are now joined by Jawsome Sauce and Dapper Worm Man, both with the close finish. GG's. <laughs> hey, GG. That was a yep. really long fall. It felt it went on forever. Oh uh, yeah, that's tough to <laughs> to have a Ganon fall like that. I, I feel bad. Yeah, it was uh, just enough, unfortunately. I, I I was amazed. So what happened was I got really really nervous suddenly because I did I had mentally given up around like one thirty, like just was like eh, I'm not winning this one, you know. Ah, uh, I did too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then well, uh, got nervous that I, there was still not a done. So yeah, there we go. GG. Yeah, you, uh, you you both kind of did what is expected to be done for what you had at each step of the way, mm -hmm. but you know it, it just it just wasn't giving you much. Yeah. Yeah, I I feel like I made two pretty big uh, mistakes, and Jossum Sauce must have made similar ones since it was so close of um skipping ice tea room to get my bow and then uh before that um going into pod without a potion and i was oh. I, I forgot about it right until i got up to pod i was like i don't have a potion i hope it doesn't lock me out of the back and it did and obviously that had ice rod which could have made um uh, going up to Turtle Rock better, and if you know, and and also the cape was back there, which gave you the other bow. So yeah, there were some different. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. I don't know if Jaws did the same no. thing. So, <laughs> so I, I went uh, very bold uh, into TR without Ice Rod when I was up there after yeah. the glove after the mitts, and I'm like, you know what? You know, if this is a nice rod or a boots on, like let's make this be the dumbest seat ever, and I'll work backwards. So I went yeah. into TR first and got the, the shovel, which happened to be the flute. And I'm like, all right, well, let's just follow this flute. And the only way I'm going to win this is the flute has to connect to something. And I took that. Meyer was empty. So I did Meyer. Then I went and checked pedestal just to make sure. That same, wasn't same. It. Okay. So we were, we were kind of in there. But so basically once I, since the shovel yielded the, the flute, I was like, well, my only chance of winning is this has to go somewhere. And then, then I just made the plays the rest of the seed going like, okay, well, what is like the... The dumb play here that might find boots <laughs> like keep going to the dumb play instead of playing it straight i guess same here yeah that yeah, okay. did, not lead, did not lead to anything though i mean i did yeah. not hard lock anything yeah i was like it it could be a pedestal seat at this point i was like just like if that flute shows up that's that clue and i made a beeline for the pedestal and immediately after went to my misery mire did not yeah. pay off did not pay off but we both uh i think we as we've actually talked about you know off air before we uh we seem to have similar thoughts when we're racing scenes. yeah it's funny yeah <laughs> it's cool and uh at the end i was just ignoring all the the dungeons like complete because i'm like i need the boots and this will make it faster so i was just on the boots hunt yeah and th then i went back for uh for eastern palace and obviously desert but man i can't awesome. wait to watch this one back now now awesome. that it turned out this way a very slow seed because boots were very very buried yeah and i i can understand for <laughs> whenever, whenever you're walking the entire seed and you get you get yourself on autopilot it can be, it can be a little mentally draining so mm -hmm. um one thing i wanted to mention we we somebody in chat happened to notice that uh 
Jawsome Sauce, on your own stream, your tracker, you had Ice Palace marked as a pendant. I assume you figured that out at some point. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Yeah, that was a mistake. We're, we, we fixed it. <laughs> yeah. But, I was going I mean, in there anyway, but I would have gone there earlier. Yeah, but then on the flip side, you know, you were able to full clear that while you were in there. When yeah. on the other side, that didn't happen, so... Just kind of took a probably a gamble I should stop taking of that tile room won't have anything I, I, I knew it, it was probably going to be the big key to the um, it was going to be the big key to the big chest and I just thought that might be another key or something but you know with getting the cane of Samaria so early the chances that Cold Stare is Samaria locked is probably pretty high so I probably should have done the iced tea and the big chest uh, while I was in there just uh I think I felt a little behind at that point. Yeah, it'd be real hard for either one of you not to feel behind with something like this going on, for yeah. sure. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, and then, like I said, for my path, you know, which felt like this doing dumb stuff after dumb stuff, it was like, alright, we're on the dumb path, let's hope that the <laughs> dumb path... Like, you gotta commit to the dumb path if you're on the dumb path. Because if I go right. back to the straight path, or whatever the, what the seat's supposed to be, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm too far behind execution. There's no way I catch up. So, but yeah. well, except for when you are doing the same thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, these hundos have a way of equalizing things. That's for sure. So I'm, it, it, I'm surprised that was only 163. It felt I guess because it, yeah, no, it felt me too. Yeah. felt so long. <laughs> yeah, um, when you run into junk, you leave it so it doesn't count. I'm sure this was 190 yeah. plus or something like that. Well, and then you count GT, which you didn't even have to do. That's true. So yeah, I'm pretty sure most of that skipped is in GT. Yeah. That's true. There's 20 or something checks. I was I was planning on tile using doing tile room. So if it was anywhere <laughs> beyond hope room, yeah. I was gonna YOLO it because, as I said, felt behind. But nobody would have blamed you for a tile room play after this one. <laughs> And I guess what the big takeaway for me and, and for you too, I think Dapper is a uh, you know we should never mentally check out during a that's uh, true. seed. And I think both of us <laughs> would have cut true. maybe ten to twelve minutes off the seed if we would have not <laughs> mentally. Yeah. I was like about one thirty. I'm like ah, I've lost this. Let's just practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting late. No big deal, right? Yeah. Thanks everyone for watching for two hours. <laughs> watching us or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, two two hour race comes down to less than a minute. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty nuts. Yeah, yeah and, I mean that's that's good for us. So yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say, in sure, less than a minute, it's one arrow, right? Like, is the real difference in time in a one on one. So the fall and the arrow, and you know, it's that that close, and then him picking it up. So. Yeah, and we were at some point wondering if either one of you were going to get those silver since you knew about them. I mean, it turned out you both did, but mm -hmm. it, yeah, no, that that could have been a difference too. So hey. yeah, that I did not know that they were there. Actually, it was my last check to get oh, really? boots before, because mm -hmm. if it was boots, I would do desert before uh, Turtle Rock. Okay, uh, I, guess, I, I guess it was sorry. my one, my one remaining check, literally, but uh, except left side swap. Yeah, I guess it's hard to keep track of who did what. We. Uh... Well, at least I thought you uh, had been there already, but one of no, you I never, never got to scout it, which was uh, just bad on my part. But oh well. Yeah, I mean, definitely could have been worse, but uh, you got him. And... That's the kind of seed I like to hand to somebody and be like, "Here, try this." <laughs> yeah, someone else will run that in about one fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you would, except you'd have to dig it out of the trash first. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, <laughs> this is game one, so you guys hopefully will be treated a little bit nicer in the future. But uh, any other thoughts on this? Or... Um, well, I'll just say it's fun that to have close races of my last round. That you know, I was like five seconds away and four seconds away on two two games. So you know, the more of these close races, it's. We, were, we, we have a good group here. We're, an even group, I'd say. We were, we were randomly assorted into a, uh, an even group. It seems yeah. Like. Group W, that's where it's at. That's right. Yeah. Um, 
the close races, I mean, they, 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 they have to feel really good or they hurt depending which side you're on, but at the same time, you can rando take the fact that you know, you're doing something right. So. And our next game is Thursday, same time, 10 o'clock. And then we've set up for Friday at 10 o'clock Eastern for game three. Hopefully there's a game three. I hope. Okay, so <laughs> there you go. I'm not well, sure on the restreams yet, but there will be multi-Twitch links. So it'll be one to watch. Yeah, be sure to uh, to check the schedules. We do have the multi-Twitch links in the schedules for uh, those races that don't have a restream. And we also have the links for those uh, that do. And considering how close this one is, you definitely want to see the other two games for this. Or one game, depending, but hopefully two. This was a good race. Yeah, hopefully two for the for the fans. Hopefully one for me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, and the nice thing we talked about, that we're you know this is we're both one to know in the group. So, you know, whoever loses this, if, you know, we get to try it one more time to try to make that bracket. So, yeah, the that beauty time. of uh, beauty of group stages. Mm -hmm. Well, awesome. best of luck to both of you going forward and Dark Shadow, anything? Uh, just as I've said, great race. Be sure to follow our runners, uh, Jawsome Sauce and Dapper Wormman, as well as thank you to Lumaga for restreaming us and Zero Mix for tracking. And thanks for commenting with me, uh, Scupula. Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, this is my first one of these. Uh, I don't know if I want to watch this back, though. I hope it didn't sound too stupid. <laughs> but, uh, I'm sure yeah. you're fine. I I'm going to watch it back, so I'll let you know. All right, I appreciate sure it. Um, you, you gave us a ride, that's for sure. Well, thanks for to the whole race room crew and commentators and tracker and everybody uh, and everybody for watching. Yeah, same here. Have a good night, GGs. GG's and thank you all for watching here on Go Mode Podcast.